Good morning. It's a beautiful morning here. I'm out at my uh, out in my parents' field, at the homestead that I grew up in, and it was uh, three or four years ago. Right about here, you can see the uh, the house up here. I went into the bush here, and I made up. Uh, my parents had gone away for the day, so for fun, I went out and uh, I made up uh, four or five of these big log deers. And while they're they're away, I placed them out here in the field because my dad sits up in the window up there and watches the deer travel back and forth. So I thought it'd be fun. And uh, sure enough. It was a surprise to him, he thought they were deer. But then he uh, sent me a picture a while later with the deer with the deer. So anyway, I'll uh, try and dig up those pictures off my uh, old computer. But anyway, today we're just gonna go back in the bush and uh, make up one of those deer and uh, bring it home to my house and uh, set it up. Not necessarily Christmas, but a wintry theme. And uh, yeah. Have something to look at so this is a fun little project not too hard i will be using my chainsaw but this project you could actually do very easily with just a uh, buck saw so let's get cracking for this project we need a uh, we need the body four legs uh, a head with a little joiner piece and a tail and then we can find some antlers later. So this will be my workshop area here. This is uh, actually, this is where I uh, carved the pumpkins. This was where I cooked my venison for the deer hunt. And uh, this is where I shot my practice shots for the uh, deer hunt prep video. And this is where I hunt back here. So, I mean, this is a great little spot here. I've got lots of uh, ash and maple that's fallen down here, so I'm sure I can uh, I can make do with what I got just on the ground already. So I'm going to cut up those pieces that I need, and uh, we'll bring them back here, and we'll just get them all assembled. So. <laughs> Here's your basic parts then. There's your your head, your neck, your four legs, and the tail. So time to drill some holes. So normally I would uh what would I do? I'm gonna push it here. I would normally drill I got an inch inch hole and then I would use a tenon tenon cutter. But I'm sure nobody has a tenon cutter, so I'll just, uh, I won't use that today, I'll just use the auger. You can use a, even a cordless drill on low, if you've got a couple batteries, it's tough stuff to drill. But I'll just do this and then we'll use the, uh, the axe just to, uh, to dowel them in. But, so, as far as the angle goes, it's probably about uh, 22 and a half is probably going to be good. Let's get this one started. If I can get this down about three or four inches, I feel pretty good with it. Okay, so you can see the holes are all drilled. And uh, you know what? Even if they're off-centered, it doesn't—it doesn't even matter. Or crooked, like they look like they're walking, so it's not a big deal. There's no science to this. So now we got the legs. So these legs are going to go in the holes. So we're just going to take my uh, hatchet, 
and uh, just uh, shave them down until they fit. And then I'll pound them in and uh, make them work. An so angle, and then when you drive them in, they'll just wedge in there tight. So. Good idea too. Then uh, just keep your drill bit handy, and you can gauge how far you've come. A little more. bit smaller to fit in a hole and you can just drive her right in. So come with me. Over here. Okay. Look over here. Okay. That goes in there nice to start with. There, that's bullyful strong. So we're gonna do that four more times and I'll come back. There's your body. <laughs> so, so now we're gonna drill a hole here for the neck and one for the tail. But uh, first things first, it's uh, time for coffee. This uh, lid fits the, the glacier cup perfect, and that's from the Trangia kettle. You can buy them separately in case anyone's wondering. to boil. See he's boiling. I think it's a beast. Sit on my new tool here. We make a bunch of those. So we got our neck here and our head. So let's just uh, we'll lean the head forward a little bit. So we're going a little bit of an angle here and a little bit of an angle here. So we'll drill this hole in here and then. Uh, We'll taper both both ends of the uh, the neck. Hear that train? So we'll just uh, give it a bit of an angle here, just so that the head is forward. I'm 
Bark's gonna come off sooner or later, so might as well take it off now. So we got the uh, the neck ready. Drill the hole for the the head. So we'll just uh, drive her in. For the head, I think we'll put the head on just to kind of we'll turn the head so it's kind of looking into. Uh, Beauty. All right. Not all right. I drove that in too tight. I cracked it. I'm gonna need a new head. There. I go make a new head. <laughs> new head is made, and I gave it a bit of an angle, just to tip tip it a bit. So we won't drive that on there like a wild man. Take the mark off. Good. So, we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to make the tail. And the tail. We're going to give it a little bit of a white flag on the back there. Ah. So, now, we got the tail. We're gonna do uh, two holes here, and then we gotta go. Uh, we gotta go shed hunting. But first, I think I'm gonna take my chainsaw, and this is absolutely not necessary. But uh, I think we're gonna take these corners off here and here, and take a little bit off for the snout. Before we put the antlers in, let's see if these are the antlers. All right, we want two uh, two eyes. I did get carried away. I cut a mouth in there. It's not necessary. The picture I showed you in the beginning, they were just blockheads. But now that we got carried away, I think we'll put two little eye cuts, just straight and across. So. I think a chisel will be fine. Let me find my mallet. Here it is. So, let's say, uh, like so, like so. Just something to signify the eye. Okay, so we got some antlers here. Let's stick them in. But I'm not going to drive these in because they. Uh, I'm going to have to go in my truck, so I'm going to take them out again. So there's your uh, there's your deer. So. I'm going to move him out in the open here and have a look. Alright, well there he is. There's your reindeer. Now you can, uh, you can paint him if you want. You can give him a red nose, but uh, I scratched off some of that bark that was loose there and uh, cleaned it up a bit, but that's basically it. So, that's a fun little project and uh, it look, looks a lot different at home on the on the lawn or in the snow. So remember guys, that's is uh you make your wife stuff like that and uh you won't get complaints for going in the bush. Alright, well you know what? That didn't take very long at all. 
so uh, I'm out here. I'm going to do a real quick little project. I won't even tell you what it is. I'll just knock it together quick and uh, it's a freebie for the end. So let's give this a go. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Look at that. That's worth the price of admission right there. <laughs> All right. Well, that's silly, but you know, obviously that's a carrot. You can uh, paint this in and put on your buttons, but yep, you get what you pay for. <laughs> All right, these are fun little projects. I wish I'd use the uh, a buck saw because I I wanted to show you that it's so simple. Like it's only really a couple hard cuts with the buck saw, and uh, so anybody can make these. It's not necessarily Christmas. You can plant it right in your garden and grow vines over the deer and everything. And it's an easy project, but it's rustic. The older they get, the better they get. Like, like that looks like uh, all these fresh cuts. Everything will turn gray. And uh, just put it out in your garden or in your yard. So anyway, there you go. Fun little project. No big deal. And uh, I'll bring them home now, and I'll I'll probably show them to you set up at home. All right. Here's our man. He's found his home right about here. He has to sit here year round, I guess. And uh, he's in good company with this guy. But uh, anyway, there's today's project. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the kind of thing, why not uh, share, like, and subscribe? And uh, also, uh, you know, when I fill around at during the week carving stuff, I'm on Instagram. So if you want to keep an eye on what I'm up to. Uh, Doug outside. I'm on uh, Instagram too, so I'll see you around and uh, I'll be back with another one soon. So see you guys